kids and I are making lard today. It's actually a little, I'm trying it a little bit different than what I've done it in the past. In the past, I've just like cut it up, but I saw that somebody did on a YouTube video where they actually put it in the grinder first and it looked like it worked really well. So I'm gonna try that um, today and let's see how it comes out. As you can see, this is a, a lot of a lot of fat. This is actually from one of our pigs that we processed several months ago um, that we raised uh, in the woods. And that meat is excellent. This has been cooking about two hours. It looks good, looks ready. I'm about to take it up and strain it and put it in jars. So now I'm putting a colander in and I'm gonna put a cheesecloth over the colander to separate the lard from the cracklings. I'm gonna pour it in the jars. So you want to make sure that the valve back there is sealed and you're gonna put it on 60 minutes. So I'm gonna put it on meat, 60 minutes. I'm about to open my Instant Pot. This is first time I've done an Instant Pot, so let's see how it turned out. So looking at it and stirring it, I think it looks like it turned out well. Now I'm gonna do what I did for the crock pot. I'm gonna set up a colander, put a cheesecloth in it and strain it. So in the first batch of the crock pot, we actually ground the pork and so in the second batch we just actually cut it up in pieces and I was just curious as to see the difference and I think my verdict is going to be that I actually do like to grind it first even though that is more labor intensive and it does create more cleanup that is what I'll end up doing again next time and as far as the instant pot a crock pot I think it's tit for tat they it both turned out well so I'd like to tell y'all a little bit of the positive benefits of lard. I feel like lard has kind of got a bit of a bad rap and I'm gonna tell you why we love it. It's number one, it's high in vitamin D. And number two, it is 45% oleic acid, which is a monounsaturated fat that's found in olive oil. And that helps to lower LDL cholesterol while leaving the HDL, which HDL is the bad cholesterol, leaves that, that cholesterol alone. It also has a high smoke point, so that means it is great for frying, which I personally like to do. I love to fry some stuff up in lard. And it's normally a little bit more affordable than some of the other oils, like coconut oil. And saying all of that, I would not just go and get lard from any pig out there. So for example, like you have toxins that are given to factory farm pigs, such as like antibiotics, and then you have that stored in there and accumulates in their fat, which that is not what you want. So you just want to make sure that you're sourcing your pork fat from a healthy pastured pig. And in general, just pastured animals have higher levels of vitamin D, 
which is always a good thing. So, hope you guys, hope y'all enjoyed watching the video, and I'm excited about all this lard that I have.